Hi everybody, it's Jennifer and I'm back with a video for the new year. Um, I thought I would do a video on what I consider closet essentials. And these are not clothing items, these are things to either help you organize or store or just have you have a well-functioning closet. Um, so let's start so I can keep this as short as possible. The first thing is a full-length mirror and I cannot believe how many people do not have a full-length mirror? Like, how are you getting dressed every day if you can't see what you're wearing? Buy full-length mirrors for nothing. Like, you could go to a resale shop and get a full-length mirror. You can go to Target and buy a full-length mirror. Like, there's no real reason for you to not have a full-length mirror in your closet. So, no more, like, people, I see a lot of people standing up on their bathtubs, things like that, or, um, like, having to crouch down, whatever you're doing. You should not be doing it. You should have a full-length mirror. So go get a full-length mirror, okay? If you do nothing else from this video, full-length mirror. Good lighting, that's another thing. If you can't see what you're wearing, how do you know like, if there's stains on it? How do you know if the colors work together? Um, it, you can't, if you can't, don't have good lighting, so natural lighting is obviously the best, but of a dark closet, maybe bring in a table lamp or a floor lamp or something to help lighten up the space more so that you can see your clothing um, in good lighting. Next is a steamer. So I'm a huge fan of a steamer versus an iron. Irons are fine for certain things for sure, but steamers are just easier to use and you're going to be more likely to wear the clothing in your closet that is wrinkled if you have a steamer versus an iron because I keep my steamer. <clears throat> so this isn't necessarily the one I recommend, but I keep this one under my bathroom sink and if I pull out something that's wrinkled, I plug it in, it heats in like one minute, and I go to town on the items, and they're, then I'm, I'm likely to wear things way more. You can't ruin any, you can't ruin clothing with a steamer. It's not going to burn the clothing like irons do. Great to travel with. You just pop them in your suitcase, and you can take them wherever you're going. So I highly recommend steamers. I will link to some below that have good reviews that I, I know, um, this is just one that I was given because my other one died, so I, um, I'm just using that for now. Next, velvet hangers. So <clears throat> there are several reasons I recommend velvet hangers, and you can actually see I have a bunch of pink ones back here on my rack. The reason I recommend velvet hangers, number one, the thinness of them. They're super thin, not bulky, so they take up very little inventory, like space in your closet. Second of all, they grip the clothing so you won't have things falling off of your, your um, hangers and, you know, that annoying thing. And I also recommend them because they, I, it's important, I think, to have um, matching, it's not important, it's nice to have matching hangers in your closet. Your, it makes your closet look cleaner and less cluttered and less disorganized and disheveled. If you have matching hangers, it kind of makes it look like a store. It looks really nice and neat and everything hangs really well um, whenever you have matching hangers. So I highly recommend these. You can get them on Amazon. A huge box of like a hundred for very little. So I will link to that below. But yes, velvet hangers are awesome. You trust me, if you're not using them yet, you will love them. Um, let's see what else. Jewelry storage. So there's lots of ways to store jewelry. I recommend storing it in a way that you see it because if you don't see it, you are, are less likely to wear it. And you should be wearing jewelry and accessories every day. They definitely add to your outfits. So one of the, oops, whoa. What? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. I had a nasty cold over the holidays. Ugh. So um, one of the ways that I hang jewelry, I have frames that I use to hang um, shadow boxes that I put brooches in, so it's kind of art slash jewelry um, hanging. I have some uh, bracelets, basically arms that I use to store bracelets. I have trays like this that I put rings or earrings and um, bracelets and necklaces and all that in here, and I keep these in a drawer, but whenever I open the drawer, I can see everything nice and neat and laid flat, um, so I highly recommend those. Um, one important thing to remember with your jewelry is don't hang it in the in the bathroom because the humidity from the shower will tarnish it and prematurely age the jewelry. Also, perfumes and hair sprays and that are terrible for, for jewelry. So 
Uh, you should put on your jewelry very last in when you're getting dressed and take it off first. So just because it's more delicate, you need to take care of it. Um, tip on that. Um, okay, wax paper. This one, most people don't know. This is awesome for waxing your um, the rods in your closet where your clothing is hanging. So you take a piece out and you just rub it along the um, rod and it waxes, it leaves a thin coat of wax on those rods and then the, the hangers slide really easy back and forth after you do this. A couple bucks for a box of wax paper. I keep this in my closet because I don't use it for anything else. One box is going to last you like the rest of your life. So go get some wax paper. It makes your closet just so much easier to, you know, go through the shelves. Uh, handbag stands. So I don't recommend have handbags get smushed if they're not stored properly and so that damages them. So I recommend kind of filing them and I have a photo of that. There's a, you can buy these things at the container store. You might be able to find them elsewhere, but that way you can put them upright and they don't fold. And you could also store them with tissue and things inside of them. Bags, if they're expense, you know, they're really nice bags. Uh, I recommend storing them in a dust bag and then putting tissue paper in the bag too to keep its form so it doesn't flop over. I'm sure you can under you understand what I'm talking about. And then it gets those creases in that in there and damages the bag. So, um, place. so storing the bags right is huge in the way that it doesn't damage them. And last but not least is a shoe shelf. So <clears throat> um, I have clients that have use stored their shoes in their shoe boxes. I don't recommend this um, because you don't what you don't see you forget you have and um, people promise me when I, they do that that they know what they have and then we go through them they're like oh I forgot about those I forgot about those so um, if you want to store them in shoe boxes get the clear ones that you can buy at Target Walmart container store wherever so what I personally do is I have shelving in my closet and I just store them on shelves and uh, in like categories, kind of flats all together and then heels all together. And some people do it by color. It, it's totally up to you how you want to store them. Um, I think you should, and you shouldn't have them piled on each other in the basket or something like that. That's also not good for the shoe. It's not going to make it last very long. So I recommend that. I also hang up my taller boots so that they're straight up and on either like a pant hanger or you can buy actual uh, shoe forms that you can slide into your boots to keep them from folding over which of course damages the boot because you're getting all that creasing and that in there so that's it if you have any questions please let me know i hope you learned something from this video if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i will talk to you soon Bye bye